for one, I apologize Sunday night, total lack of communication. Um, so we'll, we'll nail it on the next buy. Secondly, Juju wasn't here today uh, for personal reasons. Um, hope to have him back tomorrow. Um, you know, I, I don't think it's serious, but you know, as, as we move forward, we'll keep you guys up to date. Third, I thought our guys were great today. I thought their energy was really good. They, they practiced competitively. Uh, our young guys got a lot of work, which is what we're going to do for the next two days um, before we start really getting into game plan mode on Saturday for Washington. So it's a good week for us to get ready, um, You know, just kind of get our young players developing, but also focusing on academics and doing all those little things that, uh, that are important for student athletes. So that's what we're doing. How valuable is a week like this for Sam Darnold in particular? It was awesome. I thought Sammy was good today too, you know. Um, for all those young guys, you know, we, we always tend to focus on the, the true freshmen that are playing. Uh, and sometimes we lose sight of the development of our younger players that are actually redshirting, that are developing. And, and Sam's one of those guys, and these days are huge for him. How does having a couple extra days off affect your momentum? Uh, no, we needed it. You know, I, I think that we've been on an emotional ride a little bit here for two weeks and a physical ride against two physical opponents. So um, having a few days off is not bad, especially having the Thursday game. So, um, you know, I think the, the timing was good and we're just trying to take advantage of it. One, to get better, but two, to get ourselves prepared to go for the next week. Going back to the development point, what have you seen from uh, JUCO transfers like Isaac Whitney and Jaquan Hansen? I think Isaac has just been unbelievable. I think he just keeps coming and keeps coming. You know, I probably should have reviewed his play in the game and probably would have had a catch down on our sideline there. But, you know, we, we went and scored the next play with Steven. Um, and I think Taquan's coming too. You know, the JC guys, it's always interesting because you think they're more mature and they should they should develop faster. But the reality of it is this is still their first time being on a Division One football team. So it, take, it takes a, some time, um, but, but they're both getting better. After you're going to review the film, what did you see with that run game? And um, in the run game, we knew going into the game it was going to be a little feast or famine. Um, you know, Arizona State is such an over-aggressive defense. They're blitzing from everywhere all the time. And we went into the game knowing that we were going to put the ball in the perimeter and make them tackle us in space. Um, and it proved to be our advantage. You know, it worked for us. You know, we've got really good athletes. When they get the ball in space, they can make their play. So uh, I, I don't want to to say, hey, we gave up on the run game, but in every game you have to go with a game plan and say, what are we doing that gives us the best chance to be successful? And we really felt like, you know, maybe it wasn't the run game that night, it was getting the ball on the perimeter, which in our eyes is still a run to make our plays. Well, you had a lot more success on third down in that, in that Arizona State game. What did you attribute that to? Well, I think, you know, it was really good game plan by the, by the coaching staff and then execution by the players. Um, you know, we anticipated a lot of the man coverage, and uh, I thought Clay did a good job calling stuff to get guys on crossing routes and different things to, to get them open and not just have to rely on winning one on one battles, but utilizing scheme to get guys open. What's you going to see, Rogers. Oh, Darius has got a hamstring, um, and with those things, like anything, um, everybody responds differently. So it's going to take a little time. He rehabbed all day today. Hopefully, we can get him back sooner than later, later we need him. You're going to see Cody maybe taking off a little bit more. That was really cool. You know, it was great to see Cody run the ball. Um, you know, he, he I've said this all along. He's a better athlete than people probably give him credit for. Um, and he's worked at it this offseason. And it, it showed the other night, you know, there was a couple effective runs there. And, and buying time, and he escapes the one that free blitzer up the middle, spins out of it, finds Justin for a big third down conversion. So when he's playing athletically like that, it just makes us a lot more difficult to defend. I know you've mentioned this on the on the radio show last night, but Soma Vinuku's kind of unselfishness. What does that say sure. about him, and what does it kind of represent to, for the rest of the team? I think it's awesome for a team. You know, when you have a senior that is giving himself up and, and committed himself to special teams, and is still a factor on offense, but he's unbelievable on special teams right now. It just sends a, a great message to our entire team, to our younger players, that uh, you know it, it's not always about the quantity of plays that you play, but the quality. And I think Soma, when he's been in the game, whether it's on special teams or on offense, his quality of play has been really high, and, and that's encouraging. We're going to see more of the two fullbacks? Never know. Every game's different. Yeah, every game's what different. What do you call it? What do you call that? Uh, we, we went to a Cowboys formation. We call it Cowboys, Cowboys. I think, for Cone. Um, okay. <laughs> you know, we're, we're not, you know, as coaches, we're pretty simple guys. So, um, But at the end of the day, you know, I thought it was kind of fun for our team just to give us a little bit of a different feel for those guys to be able to be out there together. They work so hard. Um, 
you know, I think everybody appreciates it, especially when you're running the ball effectively, and then you got the play action pass for the touchdown to Isaac out of it. You said uh, after the game, you never want to be known for being conservative on offense. How does that manifest itself, or how did it manifest itself in the actual calling the plays? Well, I just, you know, I, I want to stay aggressive, you know, Scott. I, I think that that's a trademark that we should have as a program, whether it's in on offense, defense, or special teams. It, and we want to be an aggressive group, and we're going to be that way on offense, whether it's going forward on fourth down, taking our shots down the field. Um, that's, you know, I don't want to just be known for that. I want to actually exhibit that and exude that. And I think we're, you know, we're, we're, we're hanging our hat on it, and it showed up the other night. Did, did you feel after the previous game that you hadn't? No, that? no, we've been we've been getting yards and chunks. We've been averaging, I mean, I think eight and a half yards per play going in the last game. I don't know what our exact number is today. I think we're probably right around eight yards or a little over. So I, I just don't want to lose that aspect of who we are. You know, we, we're, we are an aggressive group. Um, and when, when we remain aggressive and the players understand that that's what we are and that's how we're going to, you know, approach every game, um, I think that's makes us more effective you know that geez you have to not only defend the run game or the bubble screen you you need to be ready from the opening play that we might throw it deep on you too and and uh, we hit juju on the first one the other night and i think that helped the whole game kind of go the way it went one more has the, the development of like a marvel Kell and a biggie marshall in the backfield allowed you to be more aggressive in the front seven well, I think it's helped. I think, you know, Iman has really come on strong here the last couple of weeks. You know, he, he's a physical guy at the corner position, um, and we needed it. Obviously, it, the timing was almost impeccable with Kevon being down. Uh, hopefully, we get Kevon back. We can get that rotation going a little bit more. That should allow Adori to play a little bit more offense, which we've seen is, is you know, he's pretty effective when we, when we get him over there.